Hey guys, Ken Tamplin from Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. Uh, gonna do a vocal coach reacts to top 10 singers surprised by fans singing. So, uh, singing skills. So let's just dive right in, haven't seen it, and just gonna fire it right up. Here we go. Beyonce, number one. Kind of funny. Someone pulls him away like, yeah, na, 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 it's cool. By the way, for every one of these guys that are great, like I did a video on the Kiss guy for the Dig Grohl thing and that's gonna come out, I'm not sure when I'll release that. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, you will soon. Uh, but for every every great guy like this, there's a lot of bad guys that wanna try to grab that microphone and he's like, whoa, please step away from the microphone. So anyway, but this is pretty cool and cute to see this. We were nothing, it to say. Now that you're gone, my heart. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was cute. Oh my God, okay, I got a little side story. I always got a side story. So like my wife and I, we're in an area in a um, place called, uh, gosh, it's Southern California. So for those of you who know, know Southern California, um, there's all these little beaches and, and, and like knolly, uh, grassy knolls you can sit up usually to kind of look at the ocean and there's a pier there and stuff. So anyway, so I'm in a place called San Clemente and um, there's a pier there and and I, I, this is back when I used to drink wine. I stopped drinking a while ago. That was the, one of the better things I've done for my life. But anyway, we were sipping a glass of wine and there was these about, I don't know, maybe 30 kids down, you know, off the pier and one kid was playing guitar, not that great and singing really loudly, not that great. But you know, whatever, he had his friends around and they're having a good time. And just beyond that was the bathroom. So I, I was in my shorts and a, you know, kind of a dumpy t-shirt and some flip flops, you know. And so I head towards the, you know, the bathroom and um, as the kids playing, and I'm just kind of checking them out and I'm walking by him he was this kind of snotty punk and he goes what are you looking at old man and I'm like looking around I, I, talking to me <laughs> I guess he was right and he goes well you think you can do any better and I'm like well that's kind of weird um, so I couldn't resist I walked over and he goes yeah you think you're such a bad a eh? you know you think you do better you know you look like you're mocking me I go hey man I was I was just checking you out dude I was not mocking you well do you know how to play this thing and I said well I've strummed a couple chords in my day. For those of you who don't, don't know, guitar is my first instrument. So anyways, I, I grab his guitar and um, or he hands me it. I put it on and I just go and I do the shredding riff and, and everybody's like, whoa, the old man can play. And I'm looking at the neck and I go, oh, the action's a little bit off, but you know, and then I threw it back at him and I started walking to the bathroom. And then when I came back, everybody comes back and goes, whoa, it's that guy again, whoa. And they're making fun of him, whatever. But so be careful who you make fun of guys. Cause you know, if you're uh, calling out a Navy SEAL and you think you're gonna take him on, you might want to think twice about that next time. Cause I think you guys remember the other story I had, um, some gal, it was, uh, uh, there were some Australians and there were some Canadians there too, but I was in Japan and there was this international karaoke convention going on and they egged me on to go and I didn't know I could sing at all. And this really loud mouth girl egged me on to go ahead and do this karaoke convention with them. And um, she puts my name in to sing Foreigners, I Wanna Know What Love Is. And I wound up, I wound up winning this thing and buying everyone in, in this whole place a drink on the house for, uh, for the winning, so to speak. So, but anyway, it was kind of fun. So it's very similar to this, but I've had a lot of really great, uh, you know, people that have come up and have played my guitar and people that have come up and sang with me on stage. And then I've had some that weren't quite so great and you had to kind of pry it away from them. So anyway, let's continue. Enough stories. Here we go. You have a beautiful voice. Now that you're gone, my heart. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're so good. <laughs> You have a beautiful voice. You inspire me. You inspire oh, me so much. 
I need to take a listen to that thing you sent me. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Thank Looks you like they're at uh, like, like a record company because in the back says Universal oh, Music Group. So Desiree. Desiree, nice to meet you. Yes. I never thought I'd I wonder how he picked her, how she just wound up randomly sitting with him at the piano. So maybe he just called somebody up or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's continue. I'm gonna walk Desiree over over here. One second. Admit it, guys. Honestly, think about this. You singers out there, don't you ever kind of wish, you know, that you could kind of just grab that mic or, or maybe you're in the audience and you kind of sing a little extra aloud in hopes that someone can hear you when you're doing it. Uh, and these guys are getting a shot, man. They're actually getting a shot and doing a good job. So it's fun to watch. All right. <laughs> That's cool. And so I just would love to know the backstory on this, like how they pick these people randomly like this. Cause I, you know, you see Rihanna out there, she's handing a mic to somebody. Well, that's cool. But how did this girl get on stage? I'm kind of curious. She won a contest or something? I don't know. You know, I always wanted to, um, back when I was making a lot of records and I was managing this two-time world champion surfer girl named Daisy, and we had all these endorsements and, you know, we had PV guitar and we had, you know, all kinds of stuff from sunglasses, Hurley clothing, you name it. We had all these endorsements and, and speaking of PV, so I wanted to, um, we had this tour that we did at hard, hard rock cafes, um, particularly in Southern California, all of them and, and also Las Vegas. And, and I, I thought it would have been like the coolest thing ever is to have like a singer songwriter contest to have the winner actually get to be and participate in a duet on the record. And I think it would have been smart and still could be smart for a lot of these um, superstars like Adele or Rihanna or whomever uh, to run competitions to let kind of like what the what the you know the singing shows are doing but in a legit kind of way not that you know the judges get to pick all the people but it's a, a fan vote based thing and they would get to have these singers come in and do duets with famous artists uh, that actually win like some legitimate competition and not just cookie cutter, well, we were looking for Taylor Swift, so we've got to get that kind of sound. But someone that really surfaces in some sort of, sort of social media uh, platform that uh, it gets to, you know, shine with these guys. That would be awesome. But anyway, it's just my own little side note thing there. Real pitchy. Josh Groban says, so like, it's like <laughs> the girl can sing. Again, I don't know how they single these people out, but it's cool. Shall we? 
nice, nice. Pitchy, but it's cute. It's fun. Long breaks between the artists, I wish it made them a little shorter, but I love Pink, she's cool. <laughs> Alright, randomly grabbing some girl, that's cute. You know, one of the things that impresses me most too about these specific artists is they're not intimidated by worrying about if someone's gonna show them up or whatever, and they actually celebrate them uh, and encourage them, you know, to, to be awesome. So um, I love that an artist could be that comfortable in their skin like that, to be able to invite someone else up, and hey, what if they show them up? It's like, wow, cool, here, you take the mic. I'll, you know, I'll go have a, a, a cup of tea while I'm watching you perform. So anyway, so it's really encouraging and fun to see the artist be that comfortable in their skin and, and not have uh, any kind of weird, you know, jealousies of someone that might outperform them, so. How does she know she's going to be able to do anything? too is these guys, these people that are getting up on stage, they'll re if they never make it and become big themselves or whatever, they will remember this moment for the, they'll talk about this for the rest of their life, you know what I mean? So for you artists out there, you don't have to be pink to invite someone on stage. Uh, you know, you could be in a club somewhere, you could be doing something somewhere, whatever. Um, but it means a lot for other people to get their shot or just to feel like they get to be a part of something. So I'd encourage uh, all you musicians out there, you know, even if someone isn't so great or whatever, and you're just, you're having a good time, you know, the audience is very forgiving about whether or not they're super awesome and maybe they are maybe they're you know just okay but whatever the case is they love to see participation they love to be see people are real that um, performers are real and that they're just real people just enjoying everybody like everyone is enjoying them so uh, that's a true great artist if you ask me a great entertainer so let's continue Was she did 
jump the fence. Stand and Stan brought a shaker to the concert. <laughs> That's awesome. And now I, I need you to shake. Let's just keep it nice and simple. He's got the moves too. <laughs> okay, I, I think I've shared this before, but I have to confess something else too. So like, I've played a lot of different kinds of shows in my life, and I'm a Christian, and I make no apology for that, by the way. Uh, but I had played, you know, usually play a lot of secular venues and good size shows, and sometimes small too, and you do like little anchor dates in between bigger shows and, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, so midweek shows for the weekend shows. And I found myself early on playing some churches, and I remember we were in this one Baptist church, and there were all these tambourines all over the pews, everywhere, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting, I think, or whatever. And oh my gosh, I remember playing a song that had a groove, it was like, you know, it's like one of my songs, and they're like, it was horrendous. I mean, it was so hard for me to concentrate on where the one was and like stay in the groove of this thing, because there were so many people that were just like shaking and saying, so I promised myself that if this were to ever happen again, that I would confiscate all of those tambourines. So sure enough, a couple years later, I'm at the even bigger church and there's tambourines and there's, you know, triangles, like all these, you know, I want to call kid toy sort of you know, percussion instruments. And we just scooped them all up and hit them into the back until the, the concert was over. And then we relinquished them back when we were done. But so I can't tell if this guy's in the groove or not, but it's pretty funny. Oh, one other thing I was going to mention, I was watching, um, you know, when I watched, of course, everyone see the, seeing the movie, but, um, you know, I was seeing um, Lady Gaga. And as I re reflect on the big movie that they just came off of, um, I was thinking how interesting that she was the one that was, uh, you know, t intimidated and timid and this and that as she was, you know, becoming a star is born. She's, you know, becoming the star or whatever. But then when I saw the live version where she's encouraging him to sing with her, it was a weird role reversal where all of a sudden he was the one that felt intimidated when she was the actual real performer. So what an interesting role reversal that was from seeing the movie uh, A Star is Born and then seeing it in real life. I thought that was um, I mean, I'm just uh, interesting contrast. So, anyway, let's continue. Oh, it's got a good groove going. shaker to a concert, but... That's awesome. I don't know, like, I'm, these don't seem staged to me at all, but I know that there in the past have been a lot of staged things like this. I'll give you an example. If you look at the Bruce Springsteen video, gosh, what video was it in? But anyway, he, um, uh, in, in, in the dark, I think it is Dancing in the Dark or something like that, whatever. And he invites Courtney Cox, you know, from Friends up on stage. So it was a very planned staged thing. These seem very genuine, where that was very disingenuous. And I just like the, the honesty of this and just how it just happens, you know, so it's cool. You know that I can hold space while you see what your heart has to say about me. Cool. Sorry.
Jessie J is so funny. She's always got these outfits. It looks like, you know, a girdle from like the 1800s or something. You know, what are those things, uh, corsets, you know, she comes out singing like this, you know, she can hardly move from some of the outfits that she wears. It's pretty funny. Just an observation. That's fun, that's cute, man. Like I said, I wonder how they ask these people on the stage, hey, can you sing, come on up, or, you know, how this happened, but. So that was cute. All right, guys, well, you know, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, we have a good time. We just sit around and talk about stuff like this. I have a singing course. It's called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. And I walk you through a lot of different styles and how you guys can um, morph your voices into all kinds of different things. Maybe you'll get to be one of those people in the audience or maybe you'll get to be one of those people on the stage. Um, I have a, also a singing forum that's got just under 10,000 people in there. It's just blowing up with people just like you and me, like-minded, want to sit around and talk and discuss different styles. You can post videos get good evaluations and critiques um, and so forth so uh, by the way I'm doing this by request so for all of you guys out there that want to hear me do a vocal reaction or see me do a vocal reaction please post in the comment sections that's awesome come visit me on Facebook or tweet me or do something to let me know uh, what it is you want to hear and uh, until next time gang God bless you and peace out hey guys if you like what you heard please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button that will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay, thanks guys. Peace out.